Hello to all, my name is Javis Ortega Mejia. Now we answer the next question about the, this final work. Create a short video and upload uploading YouTube. This video needs to answer the following questions. How would you use a video to teach in a face-to-face -face environment? I would use a video to complement and teach situations I can't do in the medium contents to save time and achieve better results. What language skill would you practice by using this tool in face-to-face -face classes? The e-learning tools are very benefit for improving the listening and the speaking skills. Showing people talking in the streets in different situations for the listening skill. At the same time, to practice the speaking, not just imitating the pronunciation of the native speakers, but get used to and recognize the accent they use for improving the listening skill. Name three advantages and three disadvantages of using videos in face-to-face -face environments. Advantages. We could take advantage of time in the class. We can have more access to information. It motivates students for longer periods of time to learn. Students retain more information. The disadvantages are there's too much information and filters are needed. Equipment failure during the class. Students might not understand something in the video and the teacher does not have the time or can't stop the video to explain it at the required moment. Point of view related to the use of technological tools in face-to-face -face environments. Technological tools in a face-to-face -face environment are the best to achieve better learning results in students. There's no limits with these kind of tools in the learning process and we can go deeper in the subject while teaching. Applying text in a class, the students can focus and concentrate more about the subject the teacher is teaching. Also, the use of images and videos in students can get a more realistic information. There are different e-learning tools for teaching in a face-to-face -face environment such PowerPoint presentation, Movie Maker, blogs, YouTube, and other web pages to enrich the contents. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation. Goodbye.